Pops, it's the Honey Bat. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I managed to find the Transformers Bot Bots. This is series one and these are the eight packs. So you can see seven and then you get a mystery one. We are going to jump right on into the fun part. Here is our first pack, close up. We are ready to open it up. I think I'm most excited for him. He's a little donut. But first, let's go ahead and open up the mystery one. So it says that we lift this, we turn the box around, and we push them out the back. Or in my case, you just rip up the packaging. Let's go ahead and take him out. He got stuck. What are you doing, kitty cat? Our first one from our mystery pack is a little game console controller. So it is super cute. Now we gotta figure out how he opens. So we push his feet up like that. His head comes up like this and he has little arms. So he turns into a little robot man. And then to put him back, we just do the exact opposite. And now he's a controller again. So every bot bot has a name, but here is the checklist. It just has all of their pictures. If we flip this over, it'll tell us the names of the ones that we got. So the last one we opened was Game Over. We're gonna keep going in no particular order. This one's name is King Toots. So let's see, we're gonna try to open him up. He has a bunch of little places that look like they open. So we found his face. This piece comes down. The sides come out to be his little arms. And then his feet pop out from the underside. So he kind of looks like this. He kind of looks like he's sneezing. I think that these are amazing. You can put them in a dollhouse if you want to or use them with other action figures. Or you can just enjoy the fact that they transform. And to put him back the way that he was, all you gotta do is the exact opposite. And now he just looks like Transformer toilet paper. This one is Sprinkleberry Donut. He already comes in his Transformer size, so to turn him into a donut, we push his arms in, his little feet up, and then we turn his face Thank goodness for fingernails. We turn his face around so that he just looks like a little strawberry donut. And his feet don't want to stay up there real good, but they're pretty close. He looks like the pink donut from Universal in Florida. This awesome little dude's name is Hot Diggity. And let's see if we can figure out what he's supposed to turn into. So we're gonna put the pieces down like this to cover his face, tuck his arms in. And now he looks like a little hot dog. So if we turn his feet inward, there we go. We can finish the fact that he is actually a hot dog in a little container. He's got some mustard on top. The next one is this little baseball bat. His name is Batsby. And before we open him up, I would like to give a shout out to Bobby and Teddy. Happy birthday, Bobby. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I love that you watch with your little brother. I think that that is absolutely so sweet of you. So we're ready to open up this little Batsby. Some of these feel like they're really stuck, but they are supposed to move. So we have to pull these out. Once you get the little arms free, it's time to free his legs. So you just pull them out to the side. Now he kind of looks like he's dancing. We're gonna go ahead and put him back together. And now he's a little bat again. This is Arctic Guzzle Rush. I think it's gonna turn into a little bottle of water or perhaps something like Gatorade. So he has his little Buzz Lightyear wings out over here. And to turn him into whatever else he's gonna turn into, we push his legs back. Then we push his arms in. And then we close the little window that exposes his face. These are a little stiff at first. I had a little bit of trouble getting the little doors closed, but I do think after you play with them a few times, they'll be loose enough to just move freely. 
So he turns into a little bottle of either cold water or Gatorade. This is Majorly Scrooge, and it's a little screwdriver. So here he has his little legs that we can flip up. We pop his little arms out from the side. So now they can hang down. We'll do that on both sides. And then there he is, he's a little robot. This piece actually makes his face. And then it's like he's got a little hat on. We're gonna leave him standing up. Our last one for that case is this one here. I think it's supposed to be an eraser, but I'm not entirely sure. It's called Slappy Happy. So we turn him over, he already looks like a little robot. But we're gonna leave him turned this way. It says to lift these two up and rotate. Then turn him over, push those back, and lift his arms. Now it kind of looks like a calculator. We are now ready to open the second pack, but first let's open up the mystery one here. So again, we're gonna lift this up, and this time I'm just gonna punch it out so that it doesn't get stuck. Our mystery bot bot is Stink Eye Stapleton. He is a little stapler. So first we wanna flip his legs down, separate his arms, and then pull them down to the side. And then we have our little transformer robot. So he is really awesome. I hope they make a lot more office supplies. I think between him and our little, what I'm gonna call an eraser, we have a little bit of a theme going on. We have two duplicates in this pack since we've already seen them up close. This is Arctic Guzzle Rush, and this is King Toots. This is Puxy. He's going to turn into a little hockey puck, but right now he is a little hockey player. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to flip down the back of the puck, and then we are going to squish his head, covering up that nasty black eye he's got. And when we turn him over, we have a little hockey puck. So we have another food one. This is Lolly Licks. And my guess is that he's actually going to turn into a lollipop. So first things first, we have to cover up his face. We'll need to tuck in his arms. Just like that. Then we push his legs together, push his feet down, and now we have a little lollipop. Next up we have Screen Fiend. He's like a little laptop, so we are gonna push his feet back. Fold his arms into the side and push them until they click. Push his ears back till they're flat. And then we're gonna lift the bottom piece up. And I think he's supposed to be like a filing cabinet now. Or he could be a little phone. Maybe he's a phone. That would make sense, he's screen fiend. Next up, our little tank is called Grit Sandwood. He is a little tank. And we're gonna open him up just like this. We're gonna flip this piece up, push his legs down, and then we can push his arms forward. So now he's like a little fighting robot. This is our last one for this video. This one's name is Angry Cheese. He is a little grilled cheese sandwich. The food ones seem to be my favorite, but that might be because it's almost lunchtime. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to crack our bread open, grab a hold of his legs and pull them down. There we go. And then we are ready to pull his arms out to the side and flip the little piece of bread down to reveal his face. And now we know why he's called the Angry Cheese. Here's a look at everyone that we got today. Who is your favorite and what do you think about the new Bot Bots? Personally, I am definitely a fan. My favorite today is still gonna be Angry Cheese. I'm very hungry and I might go make myself a sandwich. So until next time, fellow bats, I'll see you later. Bye for now.